Another doll. Hi loves, it's me, your girl Z, and welcome to my channel. All of my social media will be linked in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified every time I upload. Today we're going to be organizing the closets, finishing putting up everything. I got a, a lot done last night. Um, I'm going to show you guys the bathroom and how we finished it from yesterday. I put the mat down and I just added these towels here and I put this um, Ray Dunn jewelry box. This is XOXO up there. I thought this was a great idea like if you come into the shower and you have like jewelry on. I've done that many a times and then I have to run back out and take it off and put it on the sink. I can just take it off and put it up in there. You guys saw all of this. I'm just obsessed with this. I absolutely love it. Um, I added this little tray to put like my pads and stuff in and yeah I'm so happy with this it's like the perfect size and I told you guys I'm gonna get a toilet paper holder to go there and I put this on the back of the little bathroom door and this is just the um, a towel for my hair that I hung there I put up the acrylic um, bathroom set and then I also set up this to put all my perfumes on. We just have three right now, the Ariana Grande ones. I put out a candle and then another one of these candlesticks. I'm not sure if the candlesticks will stay in here. They might end up going in the dining room because that's what they were initially purchased for. Um, and then this, I was going to stick bath bombs in it, but I'm not sure where it can go as of the moment so that one might not end up in here and then this is going to be for cotton balls um so yeah and then i'm gonna hang some glass shelves that i got from ikea a while ago they're coming from my storage once they get here i'm gonna hang that up there and then i'll probably put like cotton balls and extra knickknacks and things like that i showed you guys this box this is a chandelier i should probably start putting this together tonight and then I think I'm going to use this rug in front of the patio and then you guys know all this stuff right here in this corner is for the patio and then this stuff right here is going to storage so ignore that oh I need to get lamps because I have no lamps okay so yeah but that's pretty much it you guys we're going to get started oh did I show you guys these towels that I put up um, I put these up. I think they're pretty cute. I might put some art above the wall here. Not entirely sure yet. I need a dresser because I have tons of swimsuits and underwears that I have nowhere to put. So I need to pick up a dresser or find a dresser. I need to find a desk, which I already know the desk that I want, but it's just going to take a really long time to get here. And it's also going to cost me a lot. My bed's already on the way. So just a dresser two van oh vanities a dresser nightstands and a desk that's what i really need right now still haven't gotten a couch we're gonna have to pick a day this week and it might be on the weekend where we go um furniture shopping for the living room and find a couch we're gonna do the dining room last because we're not entirely sure what we want to do with the dining room yet oh i have to tell you guys an update about these cabinets okay so i have not heard back from the landlady about the cabinets um last i heard from her she was like i don't think the owner will let us paint the cabinets because i asked her if we could get the cabinets painted white and she's like i don't think the owner will let us do that and i was like well thank you 
um, if you could please check that would be nice thank you so much but I was looking up ways to um, redo the cabinets that are renter friendly and I actually found tons of videos on YouTube and what people were saying was to get um, like that vinyl paper sticky paper wallpaper you guys know what I'm talking about <laughs> the vinyl wallpaper stuff I have some of it uh, somewhere around here but they were saying to get that off of Amazon and just take off the cabinets like unhinge the cabinets and put like pretty much wallpaper it all white or whatever color you want and that would be the easiest and safest renter way to do it so I'm hoping she'll get back to me like today and let me know if I can do it or not if not I'm gonna end up purchasing that paper and doing it because I, I literally it this hurts my eyes so bad to look at I like literally can't thinking should I get a matching runner to this one and just put it there I definitely need something right there because I don't understand why they put carpet with the sinks I don't know maybe I might find something at um, home goods the next thing is I wanted to paint the walls because as you can see it's like this ugly it's not ugly but it's like a cream color and then the ceiling is white I don't know why they decided to mix cream and white together it really bothers me um, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna paint all of this or if I'll just paint one the main wall is like an accent wall with my bed and stuff on it and then just put art and stuff on the walls um, and mirrors uh, I'm thinking about it because I do feel like the white does not the white but the cream does make this space look a little bit bigger comment below you guys let me know what you think I should do um, and also I was just thinking when we move out of here it'll be a lot easier to just repaint an accent wall versus repainting like the whole room um and then for this up here i'm gonna go look for some curtains at home goods today i'm gonna get some curtain rods and we're gonna try to cover up this because i really hate this wood brown thing that they have going on i know some people might love it i just don't i just absolutely hate it i'm gonna finish unwrapping these right here and then we're gonna run out to um pick up some stuff <laughs> that we need i think the best thing to do now is to focus on one room at a time i think what is stressful is when you think about trying to finish the entire place all at once you're not going to finish the whole place all at once it takes months to complete a place like to get it all furnished and decorate it takes a month not a month months so I think I need to get that out of my head and just focus on one room at a time. You know what else I was thinking? I actually do really, really want to change out these fixtures. Like I really don't like this black. Oh, this is so cute. I remember this. Don't get your tinsel in a tangle. That's really cute. It's just like a catch-all dish. Well, I think I got two of these to go on the nightstand. It's by the Tahari brand. It's just these little cute um, glam frames. Uh, yeah, and then another one. So I got these two to go on either sides of the nightstand. You know what, I actually wanna show you guys which nightstands I was thinking about getting. So let me go ahead. Here's the nightstand that I wanted. It's $300, um, 319, $313.99. Honestly, a lot of these, A lot of these, this furniture is like, furniture is super expensive. That's all I have to say. But yeah, this is it. This is what I was thinking about. I think it's really cute and it's kind of modern. You guys know I wanted to mix modern with glam. And the legs, I actually don't like the legs. And I'm thinking I can either spray paint the legs because they look like they're wooden. I could probably spray paint them silver or gold or some color. White maybe. Or... I went to Amazon and I actually found 
some acrylic legs so I don't know what do you guys think should I should I first of all should I get this um, it's called the Anna pink liqueur side table should I get this one um, do you guys like that or I also have these in there but I'm I'm kind of over the mirror furniture because I have a few pieces that are coming from storage and I just feel like I don't want an overload of mirror but yeah guys that's it so I'm gonna go I'll see you guys in the next clip it is so nice outside I'm gonna go to Ross real quick and see if I can find a shower caddy and stuff there's also Bed Bath & Beyond that's over here as well. And there's also Burlington. I'm looking for a really pretty shower rack. I actually went ahead and uh, ordered those two nightstands. I found them at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond and they said that they could deliver them in like two to four days free. So I was like, I'm gonna go with that option instead of uh, Overstock. Cause Overstock was saying it could take a couple of weeks. Uh, no, honey. I want to check Ross and see if they have shower caddies. I feel like I remember them having some really nice shower caddies. And I'm looking for a really big one because I have a lot of hair care products. Um, you guys, like I've, I've talked about this earlier, I have really big curly hair. <laughs> um, I used to straighten it all the time. Um, but then I started like... I started just like wearing wigs and stuff because I felt like straightening my hair all the time was just not good for my hair. So I started wearing wigs and stuff um, as a protective style, but lately I've just been like really into my natural hair. Like I'm like, I really like my hair. Like. <laughs> I want to wear it curly more it's just to be honest with you guys a lot of people ask like why don't you wear your hair curly it's so beautiful it's so beautiful to be honest with you guys it's a lot of work it's really big like right now you can't tell because it's in like a, a bun but when I take it out it's really really fluffy it's really really big and it's really hard to deal with like to curl it and to make it look right like half the time I can't even make the curls look right so that's why I don't wear my natural hair out a lot. I feel like it looks more glam when your hair is straight, but I don't like straightening my hair because it's a pain. So I always just put on a wig. We're gonna go into Ross right now. Hi. guys we're back I just um, finished lunch I to be really quiet because Bunny's taking a nap um, I'm just trying to let him oops I'm trying to let him sleep a little bit he's gonna take a nap and I'm gonna try and work in my bedroom and get some things organized but I figured I'd show you guys what I just picked up from Home Goods and Ross I used to have a lot of mirrored stuff because I love mirrors I think it's the dancer in me like I just love mirrors that's my thing but I found this mirrored um, shower rack shower rack shower caddy um, I thought it was good I thought it was big enough to hold enough like a lot of stuff it has two trays and it looks pretty big I feel like it's pretty spacious and then it has a little tray down here for soap it has two hooks there to hold um oh crap i need to get a loofah and this was ten dollars i also got this copper bowl it's so cute this is the theme that i'm kind of going with in my kitchen as i told you guys white rose gold slash copper it's hard to find rose gold stuff it's a lot easier to search for copper so if you're someone trying to find home decor pieces that are rose gold and you can't quite find them search copper because 
then pieces will pop up so it's like copper rolls gold whatever you want to call it but this was only $5.99 and I thought that this would make a great fruit bowl and I picked up this cheese board I think this is a cheese board this was only $5.99 you guys and it is so heavy in such good condition it's marble it's so beautiful and i've always wanted one of these to put like cheese on when guests come over and crackers to have with wine so i finally got one from home goods i got two packs of these 25 pack of non-slip hangers in this baby pink color okay i thought it was pink but it's now looking kind of purple but that's okay um this is like a velvet egg oh my goodness that's so weird it was 7.99 you guys so here's the pink soap that i picked up i just picked it up literally because it's pink um so i'm gonna put that in my bathroom and then i picked up this set of two baskets this was 9.99 um and it's by the brand curver knit collection i don't know but they had this in white and gray and pink i thought this would be good to put like hats in and scarves in or gloves you know those things that you need to put in your closet but you can't necessarily hang up i thought that this would be good for that so i got two of those but yeah that's pretty much it you guys and if you could see over here in the background these amazon packages came for me today um i believe this is my stool you guys let's open it yes let's open it y'all see this these are instructions that means i have to build something which is like the worst thing i hate building stuff i did not expect this to be this huge there's two of them i only thought there was gonna be one that's why they were so expensive oh my god you guys there's two of them ow there's the cushion oh. I hurt my foot. It's a perfect color. All right, guys. Camera died, but look. I love them. They're the perfect pink color. They're not too bright. They're muted. Very, very, very mature. And they look so modern. And that's what I wanted, like the modern glam look. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, my camera is still dead, but you guys, I finished building those two benches and also my desk chair. I love it and it's like perfect. Like I did not know these colors were gonna match. I'm so happy that it's the same color and they match. They match so perfectly. Now this chair is not the most comfortable thing, but it will do and I will put some pillows in it and it's the cutest thing. So. <laughs> Who cares about comfort now i have to get into putting this stuff away hopefully my camera will charge up and i'll be able to film for you guys um if not i'm gonna see you guys in the next vloggy vlog Bye.